Well, good day, good day, everybody. Now, if you look at this wheel here, it's a little off, just just a little off. So, yeah, let's see about um possibly getting this fixed today because it looks crappy. If you guys don't know what the hell I'm talking about, it's that right there. See that bend? That freaking bend. That freaking bend. But anyway, so what are we gonna do? M340, looking clean like always. Let's make sure I'm getting that in there. Yeah, looking clean, baby. <laughs> yeah so good morning good day to everybody we're gonna go ahead and get this wheel fixed today head on over to performance actually let me take this video with my thing too hold on all right beautiful people let's get going put the car in park so i can actually go somewhere yeah the the bend is not that bad the, the Taiwan wheels is holding up. <laughs> Might as well just go get it fixed. It's gonna bother me, so. Today's also payday, so. <laughs> Fuck it, splurge on the baby, right? Uh, I'm not entirely mad about it because, yeah, I live in New York. I live in New York, so like, it's not the end of the world. When I have wheels like this, it comes it's expected territory. But I hope everybody's alive, doing well, kicking. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful day. I've never been to the shop before, but my brothers told me about it. Hopefully it's good. Uh, hopefully the prices are good because I would rather actually spend money to say fix the lip here than have to send it out to BC Forge or one of these shops. Yeah, I'd just rather do all that because cheaper. Not a lot of people really want me to get rid of this car too, which is, I'm not surprised, but I really like this car too. <laughs> but I always wanted the M3. I always wanted the M3, so in due time, that's where the next a uh, journey will be. God's willing, you never know, life can change between now and then, but let's see what's up. If anybody is in the New Rochelle area and they're looking for an alignment, I'm not affiliated with this shop or anything like that, but it, I go there. There's a guy named Joe. He does an amazing job for alignments. I don't know if he still works there. Well, I'm pretty sure he still works there. Hey, M340. He does still work there, so hit up Joe. Because, um, yeah. Nah, not because, yeah. I need to stop that shit. <laughs> but he does a good job. And also with sticking within BMW limits as well. Also acknowledging that you can only have so much camber unless you have, you know, plates in the front. But um, he does a good job. He's bound, he's both mounted and balanced my my wheels on every car actually. So between this and the M340 and this, the M340 and this, the Infinity and this. <laughs> Let 
I realize a lot of you guys don't like car shows. You guys want to see more directed content to the M340, which is cool. I'm perfectly fine with that. But I'm still starting to gauge how the YouTube thing works. Oh, that's a complaint about the M340. I don't know if too many people speak about it. It is really jerky with a custom tune, with regular XHP. It is jerky, um, the transmission. That's the difference between I see with the M3 and this car actually, to point that out. It's, it's, it's very jerky, especially in first and second. Not sure why. I'm not sure why. If anybody knows why, hey, comment, let me know. Let me know. I do have to upgrade the fluid, the trans fluid, too. As recommended by Rod. over the mustard when I say the mustard I'm talking about the line <laughs> so if there's a difference in the quality I'm switching between the phones and the GoPro does anybody own a DJI Osmo Pocket 3 if so tell me what you guys think about that because that might be the next purchase as well as a camera so I can get little better shots instead of just the, the iPhone does amazing. Uh, I just shoot on my iPhone and I use a, a GoPro. iPhone 14 and iPhone 15. Um, and I just use a GoPro and the quality comes out decent. I'm not gonna complain about that. I would just like to free up the space off of my phone. <laughs> Cause yeah, these videos take up a lot of space. And the GoPro, I actually need to get a bigger memory card too. thing about being on coilovers you are constantly dodging shit like go-karts <laughs> if you live in like a nice state like Florida when I say nice state I mean like roads <laughs> but if you live in like Florida but if you live in the major cities Florida Texas you know you're good but California you know even to some extent Atlanta Georgia they have good roads though too but depending on where you're at. It's nice, Greg. Ah, it looks like we are about to be there. Uh, probably pulling to damn. here bro I am jealous hey fire fuego Alright y'all, so 
the wheel is not going to get fixed today but um, I may go look at other shops see what they can do they are saying they're at performance that if they go ahead and do the wheel they're probably gonna mess up the clear coat finish along the lip so I set up an appointment probably still gonna go over there but I'm also gonna look at other shops and see what's up see what they can do pricing wise see how much that would be but their pricing is really reasonable just want to entertain other shops but if anything that shop is busy 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 if anybody's gonna hit up that shop so how many times did I say shop <laughs> but anyway take it easy y'all I hope y'all like the video I feel like it was a whole lot of nothing but hopefully y'all liked it peace all right but when I do get the wheel fixed and everything like that, and y'all gonna see what's up, you know. We gonna get back into photos and all that good stuff, make the whip look all nice and spiff. Nah, let me stop talking my shit. But yeah, anyway, uh, Lou out. Follow me on IG. Follow, uh, subscribe to me here. One K on the way. All right, peace, bro. Eventually. All right, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. If y'all don't see that, that says 30 psi on that top left wheel. So we gonna head on over to Performance. Uh, this is probably going to be a continuation of the other video. Yeah, it's probably going to be a continuation of the other video. So, um, yeah, so we're going to go over to Performance. I went to other shops. They gave the same, I guess, reasonable price. Uh, so I'm just going to go with Performance because I already set it up anyway. And, uh, yeah. Well, I hope all of you had a great 4th of July. I hope all of you were in good health and kicking. We gonna get this wheel done, so we can hopefully go over to Panda Fest. I don't know if you guys, any of you, are gonna go to PA and stuff like that to Panda Fest. I'll be there. Hopefully, the wheel is done by then. I'll be tight. But uh, if anything, I'll just go in DeAndre's car. But that would have been a waste of sixty dollars. But anyway, I'll put the camera back on when I get over to Performance. Tonight the music seems so loud. Yeah, so it's looking like I gotta leave the car here because I gotta refinish it refinish the the code on the outside of the lip so i'll be outside of the car for like a day which is fine but like damn the next day so apparently um the wheel was just more than bent i wish i had taken a video a picture of it like i gotta get used to this youtube thing but yeah i screwed up the inside of the wheel which is um thank you new york <laughs> 